the space race was truly one of the most awe-inspiring periods in history, marked by the Soviet Union's remarkable strides in space exploration, placing them as front-runners and potentially surpassing the United States. However, amidst their victories and triumphs, there are several deep secrets and untold stories that remain concealed from the public and their space rivals. Recently, Joe Rogan, the host of the Joe Rogan Experience, has exposed shocking truths about the Soviet Union's secret discoveries revealed by a prominent Soviet astronaut before his death. What are these many secrets and how long have the Soviets kept them hidden? And how do they affect our knowledge of the cosmos? Let's find out. In the mid-20th century, the world witnessed a period of intense geopolitical competition known as the Cold War. This period was characterized by political and military tensions between the USA and the Soviet Union. At the heart of this rivalry was the race to explore space, where both countries vied for technological supremacy. However, one of the most intriguing events during this time was the Soviet Union's exploration of Mars, which added a mysterious dimension to their space endeavors. Despite achieving significant milestones in space, the Soviets set their sights on the Red Planet in the hopes of achieving another historic first in space conquest. Following what appeared to be a successful landing, an unexpected silence enveloped the mission, creating a mystery that would remain unsolved for decades. Recently, Joe Rogan, a popular American podcaster and commentator, has revealed a story that uncovers long-hidden secrets about the Soviet Union's mysterious discoveries involving UFOs and technologies that can only be created by extraterrestrials. Keep watching as we delve further into this incredible story. The world will never forget the incredible stories of Neil Armstrong, the first man to set foot on the moon, and the agency that made this dream come true, NASA. However, before NASA's historic achievement, the Soviet Union had already made its mark in space exploration. They were the first to venture into the moon's territory, although they didn't land a human there. The Soviet Union left an unforgettable mark on space exploration, starting from the launch of the world's first artificial satellite to the first human in space. On October 4, 1957, the Soviet Union successfully launched Sputnik 1, the first artificial satellite, shocking the world and marking the dawn of the space age. This historic event ignited a fierce space race between the superpowers. Fast forward to 1959, the Soviet Union achieved another milestone with Luna 2, the first spacecraft to reach the moon. Luna 2 crashed into the moon's surface, sending valuable data back to Earth. The Soviets continued their space exploration endeavors with a series of successful lunar missions. In 1966, Luna 9 became the first spacecraft to make a soft landing on the moon, capturing and transmitting the first images of its surface. Luna 16, in 1970, became the first mission to return a sample of lunar soil back to Earth. However, a greater Soviet space achievement came on April 12, 1961, when Yuri Gagarin journeyed into space aboard Vostok 1, becoming the first human to do so. Gagarin's 108-minute orbital flight was a groundbreaking moment in human history, solidifying the Soviet Union's position as a leader in space exploration. The Soviets further expanded their human spaceflight program with the Voskhod missions, including the first multi-person crewed spaceflight in 1964. In 1971, the Soviet Union launched the world's first space station, Salyut 1, achieving another significant milestone. This marked the beginning of a series of successful space station missions, including the iconic Mir, which operated for an astonishing 15 years from 1986 to 2001. Mir served as a platform for scientific research, technological advancements, and international cooperation, hosting numerous cosmonauts and astronauts from various countries. In the 1960s, something incredible happened in space exploration. The Venera mission achieved a remarkable milestone by successfully landing a spacecraft on Venus. This accomplishment was truly remarkable considering Venus's hostile climate, characterized by an extremely high atmospheric pressure approximately 92 times greater than that of Earth. Additionally, the atmosphere is filled with highly toxic gases like carbon dioxide and sulfur. This trapped heat on Venus makes it even hotter than Mercury, the planet closest to the Sun. Despite these challenges, the Soviet Union took the brave decision to explore Venus. The first attempt by the Soviets, Venera 3 in 1965, failed as it crashed on Venus without transmitting any data. 
However, in 1967, Venera for successfully touched down on Venus and sent back valuable information to Soviet scientists. This mission revealed that Venus had no oxygen or water in its atmosphere, but mostly carbon dioxide. Furthermore, it showed that Venus lacked a magnetic field. Following the success of Venera 4, the Soviets conducted 12 more Venera missions, each building on the previous ones. Venera 5 and 6, launched in January 1969, were equipped with advanced modifications to withstand greater pressures and collect more precise data. Venera 8 was a bigger success as it was able to transmit remarkable photos and videos of Venus despite the harsh climate. The most impressive of all were the Venera 9 to 12 space probes launched between 1975 and 1978. These hefty probes, weighing up to 11,000 pounds, had landers capable of capturing clear and accurate photos. All these missions contributed to our understanding of the mysterious planet Venus and set the stage for the recent revelation by Joe Rogan. What are the spectacular discoveries that were made from these explorations? The Soviet Union had some amazing adventures in exploring Venus. However, they kept the pictures of their exploration hidden from the world. It wasn't until a brave Soviet astronaut leaked those pictures that people got to see the wonders of Venus. But that's not all the Soviets kept secret. They also had big plans for Mars. Inspired by the success of their Venera mission, they decided to aim for the red planet, our Earth sister, Mars. Launching a series of missions, they aimed to uncover the mysteries of the red planet. The Soviet Union launched the Mars 2 and Mars 3 missions as part of its ambitious Mars exploration program. These missions aim to study the atmosphere, climate, and surface features of the red planet. On May 19, 1971, Mars 2 was launched, consisting of an orbiter and a lander. Unfortunately, the lander crashed on the Martian surface due to a parachute failure, rendering it inoperable. However, the orbiter successfully entered Mars orbit and transmitted valuable data back to Earth. On May 28, 1971, the Soviet Union launched Mars 3, which also comprised an orbiter and a lander. The orbiter successfully entered Mars orbit, and on December 2, 1971, the lander achieved the historic milestone of becoming the first spacecraft to touch down softly on the Martian surface. These specially designed spacecraft were built to endure the formidable 200 million kilometer journey from Earth to Mars. With landing capsules, braking shields, retro rockets, and parachute systems, they were fortified to withstand Mars' unforgiving environment. Yet, the most captivating aspect of these Mars missions was the Prop-M rover, a remarkable creation by Soviet engineers. Weighing a mere 5 kilograms. This ingenious robot was designed to explore the Martian terrain as if it were an intrepid astronaut. Equipped with skis for traversing rough landscapes and advanced detection systems to avoid obstacles, it displayed its ingenuity. Astoundingly, as early as 1971, the Soviets had achieved autonomous robotic exploration. Fastened to the landing capsule by a 15-meter cable, the Prop-M rover provided invaluable data about the Martian soil, its density, texture, and strength. This groundbreaking invention laid the foundation for future Mars rovers, forging a path to the extraordinary. Regrettably, the Prop-M rover's mission was short-lived, lasting a mere 20 seconds. Mars 2 crashed during its landing attempt, but Mars 3 achieved a momentous soft landing, marking the first ever successful landing by a man-made craft on Mars. This triumph solidified the Soviet Union's position as a front-runner in the epic space race against their rival, the United States. The Mars 2 and Mars 3 missions will forever be etched in the annals of Martian exploration. These enormous spacecraft, weighing approximately 4,650 kilograms, comprised an orbiter and landing module. Equipped with an array of instruments, from cameras to spectrometers, they gathered invaluable data about Mars' atmosphere, soil composition, and magnetic field. The Soviet Union's audacious Mars missions left an indelible mark on the history of space exploration. The Mars 2 and Mars 3 spacecraft were way ahead of their time and packed with amazing technology. What made them even more special was their unique part called the lander. It was designed to survive the tough impact when descending onto Mars. The whole concept of the landing system was absolutely fascinating. First, a specially tailored parachute would be deployed to slow down the lander in the Martian atmosphere. 
Then, after a short while, a set of retro rockets would kick in to help it touch down gently. It was a carefully orchestrated sequence. Sadly, not long after Mars 3 landed, it suddenly lost contact with the base. But the USSR, which sent the spacecraft, didn't lose hope. They had gained a wealth of scientific knowledge and technological advancement from their Mars missions, and they were determined to continue exploring. Besides wanting to outshine the United States, the Soviets had another agenda. They were on a quest to unravel the mystery of aliens living on Mars. The Martian rover on board wasn't just equipped to study soil and weather conditions, it was also designed to search for signs of life. When Mars 3 transmitted the first ever live image from Mars, it was a monumental moment. Although the image showed only a grey background, it was still an incredible breakthrough. Detecting aliens or anything specific from such an image was practically impossible, but for the Soviet Union, it was a chip on their shoulder. They knew they were pioneers in the exploration of the unknown. As thrilling an adventure as this was for the Soviet Union, something shocking happened after the landing. The Mars 3 spacecraft, which was transmitting data back to Earth, suddenly went silent after only 15 seconds. Nobody knew what had caused this abrupt break in transmission, and the device never turned back on. It was a tragic end to what could have been a splendid mission. Many theories emerged to explain the mysterious silence. Some believed it was due to a dust storm on the Martian surface, while others speculated that Martians themselves might have been responsible, insinuating that aliens had interfered with the Mars 3 mission. It was a bad turn of events because, without communication, the scientists at the base couldn't determine the fate of Mars 3 or its rover. Is there evidence to suggest that the Soviets have engaged in secretive practices hidden from the world? There are numerous reasons to harbor a sense of skepticism towards the Soviets, and one particularly conspicuous factor is their omission of any mention of the Prop M rovers in their official reports. It was only in 1990 that this secret was leaked, revealing that little robots had been deployed on Mars. Sources even suggest that the Mars 6 and Mars 7 spacecraft also carried rovers. The Martian landscape has always fascinated astronomers. One intriguing phenomenon is the epic dust storms that sweep across the planet. These storms can last for weeks, transforming Mars from a lifeless red ball into a blurry, raging ambosphere. The topography and atmospheric conditions on Mars make it a perfect breeding ground for these storms. Just before the Mars 3 rover went silent, the cameras captured a grey background. This led experts and scientists in the Soviet Union to believe that a dust storm had engulfed Mars 3, bringing about its early demise. The secrets of Mars continue to captivate our imaginations, leaving us wondering if there are more hidden details and otherworldly creatures waiting to be discovered. Space exploration is an awe-inspiring endeavor that pushes the boundaries of human knowledge and capabilities. It is a journey filled with uncertainties, even when meticulous planning and preparations are made to ensure a successful mission. Despite our best efforts, there is no guarantee that everything will go according to plan. History has shown us numerous examples of unexpected challenges and setbacks in space exploration. One such setback occurred during the Mars 2 mission. This ambitious venture had all the necessary components for a successful landing on the Red Planet. However, at the last minute, the rocket systems failed to engage, resulting in an epic crash. It was a devastating blow to the mission and a reminder of the inherent risks involved in space exploration. Similar challenges were faced during the famous Apollo mission. As the lunar module descended towards the moon's surface, it encountered difficulties in making a clean landing. The situation seemed dire, but thanks to the quick thinking and remarkable piloting skills of Neil Armstrong, who took manual control of the vessel, disaster was averted. Armstrong's heroics saved his life and his fellow astronaut, Buzz Aldrin. While such mishaps can be disheartening, they also present valuable opportunities for the scientific community to learn and grow. When space accidents occur, scientists and engineers diligently investigate the root causes of the failures. They analyze data, study telemetry, and conduct thorough examinations to uncover what went wrong. This process of investigation and analysis is important for identifying weaknesses in our technology and improving upon them. The Mars 3 mission, launched by the Soviet Union in 1971, serves as an example of how such failures lead to progress. 
After the Mars 3 lander encountered difficulties and shut down unexpectedly, Soviet scientists were determined to prevent a similar fate in subsequent missions. They rigorously studied the failures and made significant advancements in their technology and systems. By the next millennium, the capabilities for space exploration had advanced greatly. This technological progress sparked a renewed desire among American scientists to launch their own Mars mission. In 2005, NASA responded by launching the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, MRO. The MRO was equipped with state-of-the-art instruments, including a high-resolution camera capable of capturing even the smallest details on the Martian surface. The primary objective of the MRO was to explore Mars comprehensively, but it also aimed to locate traces of the Mars 3 spacecraft that had landed decades earlier. Armed with the images and data transmitted by the Mars 3 mission, American scientists embarked on an extensive search to map out the landing coordinates of the Soviet lander. The task was not easy, as several decades had passed, and there was a significant chance that the debris from Mars 3 had been buried by dust or swept away by the planet's powerful storms. Nonetheless, the scientists left no stone unturned in their diligent search. Their efforts paid off when the MRO captured photos of intriguing objects and debris on the Martian surface. One of the most recognizable items was a parachute, remarkably surviving after all those years. Adjacent to the parachute lay a circular metal object that many experts speculated to be the Mars 3 lander. Additionally, a dark area nearby was suspected to be the landing point of the Soviet spacecraft. These findings were remarkable and provided concrete evidence of the Soviet Union's successful mission. However, despite the wealth of information contained in these images, researchers were unable to determine the exact cause of Mars 3's shutdown. Nevertheless, the discovery of the debris and objects served as proof of the authenticity of the Soviet Union's accomplishment. It also highlighted the value of international collaboration and cooperation in pursuing space exploration. Rather than fostering a renewed space rivalry between the United States and Russia, the confirmation of the Soviet Union's feat sparked a partnership. This collaboration led to the creation of the International Space Station, ISS, a remarkable achievement in human ingenuity and international cooperation. The ISS has become a symbol of unity and shared goals, where astronauts from different nations live and work together in the pursuit of scientific discovery and exploration of the cosmos. What secrets did Joe Rogan expose on his platform about the Soviet astronaut revelation? Joe Rogan is a well-known American comedian, commentator, and podcast host. He gained immense popularity through his widely popular podcast, The Joe Rogan Experience, where he engages in long-form conversations with a diverse range of guests, including scientists, politicians, entertainers, and experts from various fields. In addition to his interest in open dialogues, Rogan has shown a keen fascination with topics such as the Cold War, UFOs, unidentified flying objects, and extraterrestrial technology. He has had numerous guests on his podcast who specialize in these areas, including researchers, authors, and former government officials. In a recent episode of The Joe Rogan Experience, Joe Rogan delved into the realm of extraterrestrial phenomena, exposing some startling information that has remained hidden from the public. Rogan discussed a video shared by Soviet astronaut cosmonaut Ivan Wanger during his time aboard the International Space Station, ISS. The video, initially intended to capture the enchanting southern lights, revealed a group of unidentified flying objects, UFOs, moving in a distinct formation above the Earth. The video quickly gained traction on social media, with many people supporting Wanger's belief that these objects were indeed UFOs. What added to the intrigue was the International Space Station's silence on the matter. Although Wanger had submitted the video for analysis, the space agency remained silent, leaving us with yet another perplexing space mystery. This incident raises questions about what knowledge space agencies possess that they are unwilling to share with the public. This secrecy is not an isolated incident. Over the years, various whistleblowers and allegations have emerged, suggesting that space agencies, including NASA, have concealed information about extraterrestrial life. The Soviet Union's exploration missions to Venus and Mars serve as prime examples. The Venera 13 mission, in particular, conducted in 1982, captured high-quality photos of Venus and gathered extensive data about its landscape. The mission even detected traces of organic molecules on the planet's surface, 
potentially indicating the presence of biological life forms. These findings beg the question, could there be aliens on Venus? Did the Soviet missions inadvertently encounter extraterrestrial life during their explorations? The lack of transparency from space agencies regarding these remarkable discoveries and encounters only fuels curiosity and speculation. It leaves us wondering what else might be hidden within the vast expanse of space. Could there be other unexplained phenomena, alien civilizations, or encounters that have been deliberately kept secret? The quest for answers continues, and hopefully, in the near future, the truth about these space agency missions will be unveiled. Whether through official channels or unofficial leaks, the disclosure of information about aliens, UFOs, and the mysteries of our universe would undoubtedly captivate the world. As we gaze up at the night sky, mesmerized by the southern lights and pondering the unknown, we can't help but yearn for a deeper understanding of our place in the universe and the existence of other life forms beyond our own. Perhaps someday, the truth will be revealed, and we will unlock the secrets of the cosmos, forever changing our perspective on the nature of reality. Thanks for watching another episode of You Know. While you're still here, click on the other videos you see on your screen right now. Thanks for watching.